Welcome to this tutorial video from Kidasa Software about Milestones Professional. This tutorial video covers how to import your information from Microsoft Excel and starting with Milestones Professional version 2017, how to tag your schedule for later refreshing from Excel. Before importing your information from Excel, make sure to insert any extra columns you need into your milestone schedule. For example, I have a notes column in Excel, so I've inserted an extra text column into my schedule and labeled it as notes. Also, set the date range of your schedule based on the date range inside the Excel file. My Excel file covers the year 2019, so I've set my date range to 2019 in my milestones professional file. Now I'm going to go to my Excel file and copy the information that I want to bring into Milestones Professional. Be sure to copy the header for each column if you want to refresh your information later. Also, if you are setting your Excel file up for refresh, make sure you have some type of unique ID column. For this example, I just numbered my tasks. Milestones will use this column to figure out which task is which whenever you refresh the information from Excel. To copy the information, highlight it in Excel and press Ctrl C or the copy button. Now that your information is on the Windows clipboard, go back to Milestones Professional and go to the File tab. In the Import Options section, choose Custom, Custom Import from Clipboard. This screen is where you assign your Excel columns to fields in Milestones Professional. If you have any settings here, you can click on Clear Settings to erase them. To assign a column, select it on the left and then click once on the right where you want to assign it. Double click to unassign the column. First, I will assign my project field from Excel to my task column in Milestones. Then I will assign the notes column from Excel to the notes column in Milestones Professional. Something important to note is that the dates columns from Excel do not get assigned to columns inside Milestones Professional. Assign dates columns to the task start and task end fields. Since each task only has one set of date fields, I will assign start to task one start date and end to task one end date. Now I will assign the Unique ID column from Excel to the Unique ID field in Milestones Professional. Each task and symbol will be tagged with the number from the Unique ID column so that we can update the schedule later. If you want to refresh this file with Unique ID, make sure the Tag Imported Data checkbox is checked. Now I will save my settings and then press Continue Import using Current Filter. The task information from Excel should now be displayed on your schedule. Remember to check your date range if you don't see any information in the schedule area. To refresh your dates from Excel, first let's go to Excel and change a couple of the dates as an example. Once you've changed a couple of the dates, copy your information to the clipboard again. Make sure to copy the column headings. Then go back to Milestones Professional. Go to the Connections tab. Click on Refresh Previously Imported Project. And then choose Refresh from Clipboard. This is the refresh screen for refreshing from the clipboard. For the refresh using, you will need to choose whatever column name from Excel you used for Unique ID. So I will choose Unique ID. I will uncheck Refresh Percent Complete since I didn't use Percent Complete in the example. If you want to bring in any changed column values, you can check Refresh Tagged Columns. For instance, if the Notes field changed for one of the Excel tasks, it would update the Notes column in Milestones. I will also check Highlight Change Dates so that we can see any updated symbols. Now I will press OK. 
Now you can see that eight symbols got updated. And you can press OK. And then you'll see that those three dates got moved on tasks beta and gamma, which represents the changes that we made inside the Excel file. Those orange boxes represent the refresh highlighting, which you can turn off in the Connections tab with that checkbox. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial video about Milestones Professional. Be sure to visit our website for more videos. Have a nice day!